In today's Pixel podcast, I'm going to show you an efficient way of working with very high resolution files. And when I say high resolution, I'm not talking about 10 or 20 megapixels. I'm talking about huge 100 megapixel scans that are created for medium and large format film. These scans are 300 megabytes and more, and it really helps to have a concise workflow for dealing with them. That's true even if you are working on a single file, but especially if you are printing a portfolio, an exhibit, or publishing a book. The technique I'm going to show you I call the guide file workflow because it makes use of small guide files that are quick and easy to work on, then uses those guide files to create a large master file that can be used for a capture one's purpose many workflow. The guide file workflow lays a foundation for producing all your projects more efficiently and it takes the labor out of the creative phase, which helps you make more expressive prints. The first step is to create the guide file itself. To do that, I need to start with a big scan like this one here. This is a scan from a 4x5 transparency and at 12,000 by 9,000 pixels takes up about 300 megabytes of space even before we start adding adjustment layers. This large of a scan can be very laborious to work on. Instead of working directly on the raw scan, I'm going to make a copy of it using Image Duplicate and name that copy Guide. By working on the copy, I make sure that my initial raw scan is left untouched. Now that I have this copy called Guide, I'll close the raw scan and size down the guide file to a more manageable size using the Image Size dialog. How big should I make it? That's a good question. What I'm trying to do is get a file smaller than 300 megabytes that is easy to work on, but still have a file large enough for making hard copy proofs after I add expressive adjustments. My answer is to size it to 11 inches on the long side at 300 dpi, and that gives me enough information to make 8x10 proofs, and at 24 megabytes is a very manageable size to work on. I also want to make sure constrained proportions is checked before I click OK. Now, I have a more manageable size guide file, so I'm ready to start making expressive adjustments to the file. But to make the guide file workflow work, I need to follow a few rules. Rule one is that all adjustments must be made using a Photoshop adjustment layer. I can use any adjustment layer, and I can use masks with that layer, but I can't use anything that isn't an adjustment layer. This means I can't use anything from the image adjust menu. If this is the way you've always done things, you'll have to break your old habits to use this workflow. Instead, use the Layer, New Adjustment Layer menu to add your adjustments. I know I'm using the right tool when I see a new adjustment layer appear in the layer palette like this. Rule 2 is I can't use any tool that changes the pixels on the image layer. That means no cropping or rotating the image, and no retouching this image with tools like the Clone Tool or the Healing Brush. I can use these tools at the end of the process, but not at this point in the workflow. If you want to take a minute or two to spot for dust and scratches, you can. Just know that you're going to have to duplicate this work later on on the large raw scan. Now that we know the rules, I'm ready to make expressive adjustments to the print by adjusting density, contrast, color balance, saturation, and by dodging and burning. What you do is up to you, as long as you use the tools allowed in the rules. For me, this is an open-ended process. I make some changes until I'm satisfied, then I make a hard proof, which I hang on my wall and live with. And then I usually come back and make additional changes after living with the proof for a while, which I save as separate files, and then I make a new proof, and I live with that again, and the process is repeated until I get a proof that I'm satisfied with and want to make a larger print of. When I get to that point, I'm done with part one of the workflow, and I'm ready for part two where we make a master file which we'll look at in our next segment. <laughs>